Cabinet looking to continue his total domination of the Astrodome. Tony Gwynn sitting down in the first inning. The next batter, Greg Vaughn, strike three. Kevin Brown, though, equal to match Randy Johnson. K for K. Set piece for set piece. Derek Bell looking in the first inning. Bottom of the second in a scoreless game. Bagwell chasing the heat. Next batter, Moise Zalou grounds it down to third. Kevin Eady, great stop and uses the turf, bounces it, and gets a Lou at first base. Another look at the three-time Gold Glove winner, Ken Caminetti, makes the stop, has time to pirouette and bounce it off the turf and get the out. We are still scoreless. Let's go top three. Tony Gwynn, grounded a second. Biggio, backhand stop, getting Gwynn, who is not running the way he used to. Good play by Biggio. That ends the inning. Let's go bottom three now, still scoreless. Randy Johnson with one aboard, trying the butt, misses it. Carlos Hernandez missing behind the plate and Brad Ausmus goes over to second base watch what happened Johnson shows bunt Hernandez turns his glove too soon pass ball then a second attempt and another pass ball and the runner gets over to third base Hernandez simply had his head down and missed the ball again so heroics I don't think so <laughs> put that backwards K in the book Ausmus on third Biggio top of the lineup Chase of that high heat again goes down swinging. After the inning, Hernandez had a word with himself in the dugout. And then Brown and Hernandez convene a little battery meeting to talk about what happened. But still, we're scoreless. Let's go top four. Jim Leyritz, one out. Greg Vaughn is running. He gets picked off and gunned down at second base. So we go top five now. Chris Gomez at the plate. Grounder to Billy Spires. Tags the bag and makes the play. Johnson gets out of the inning. We remain scoreless. Go in the sixth. Gwynn reaches out. This turns into a double right down the line. So Gwynn has an extra base hit in a game that's scoreless in the top of the sixth. Bringing up Greg Vaughn. Gwynn at age 38. Still a master with the bat. Vaughn grounded aspires to third. Vaughn able to beat it out for the single, which brings up Caminiti. Randy Johnson, who's been 10 and 1 as an Astro, the blooper over Biggio's glove. That loads the bases as Gwynn hobbles into third base with an Achilles tendon problem. He'd leave after the half inning. Loaded up for Jim Leyritz. Long fly. Carl Everett's got room, but Gwynn, even with that Achilles tendon problem, able to tag and score easily in the Padres. In the sixth, take a 1 0 lead. Let's go bottom six safe at second base, by the way. Kevin Brown has been mowing him down. In trouble here. Runners second and third. The always dangerous Derek Bell chasing the low slider and Brown gets out of the inning. It's a 1-0 Astros deficit, bottom seven. Carl Everett, 13 Ks now for Brown, a new National League Division Series record, and he is moving into esteemed strikeout territory. Top eight. Vaughn, gone. Got his 50th on the last day of the regular season, his first postseason dinger, and the Padres now up 2-0. Tony Gwynn, who is out of the game, enjoying that moment, but his teammates would get it done. Bottom of the eighth. And on first, two out. Biggio goes down to end the eighth. So Kevin Brown gets pulled after 16 Ks. Trevor Hoffman, whose last and only blown save of the season, came against Houston. Bottom nine. Runner on second, one out. Bagwell goes down. And with a runner on second. Moise Zalou. Round of the third, Caminetti knocks it down. The throw gets away, and Spires able to score. Caminetti, a great stop, a poor move to throw it on. So now it's a one-run game, and Hoffman rares back. 53 saves this season and 54 chances. Gets the pop fly. And the squeeze in center field, and there it is. Game one, a dominating and historic performance by Kevin Brown and Hoffman. ESPN, the game one star and starter Kevin Brown giving Thursday starter Andy Ashby some pointers like, make sure the guys play well behind you. Like Kilvio Veras starting the double play in the second inning. Check it out again. The backhanded grab and the flip to get out of the jam. That with two on and one out. Bottom of the third. Derek Bell looking for his first hit of the postseason with two on. Not that time. And hitting coach Tom McCraw looking for his bees and their bats to come alive. They would. Ashby, the next batter for him, Jeff Bagwell. And Bagwell rips it through on the turf. Two run score as Biggio and Bill Spires come home. Astros had a 3 0 lead. Top of the fourth, and here we go. Two down. Wally Joyner. 
Hits it to second. Again, Ash beginning some good defense behind him. Biggio, the great stop and the throw to get out of it. Check it out again. Full extension on the turf, and you know that hurts. And he makes the throw. So from Houston defense, we move on to San Diego pitching. Normally a starter, Joey Hamilton, a reliever in the fifth. Gets Spires there, still in the fifth. Gets Bagwell. Hamilton retired nine of ten batters he faced in three innings of work. We move ahead now to the bottom of the eighth inning. The Astros leading 3-2. Bell facing Donnie Wall. And Bell getting it going. Get out of town. A solo shop. 4-2 Astros. Bell is first hit in 22 postseason at bats. And McCraw finally had a reason to cheer for one of his guys. Top nine. Padres down to their last out. One on for Jim Lairitz. You know he likes postseason play. Check this out. Would it stay fair or foul? Fair ball home run. The pitcher, Billy Wagner, in disbelief, and so too is manager Larry Durker. The score tied at four. Take another look at this one, and a look at the body language. Well, Carton Fisk there as well. If it's fair, it's a home run. It's fair. You talk about game of inches. How about this? Right there, you tell me how many inches. Three, four, five, six. Larry, it's his fourth career postseason home run. Bottom of the ninth now. We're all tied. Gutierrez on first. Third base coach Mike Covage giving Brad Osmus the bunt signal. Osmus pops it foul. Layridge trying to make the catch. Couldn't come up with it. Durker still looking for the bunt on the 3-2 pitch. Watch this. A pitch in his head at Osmus. That's a great play to still get it down. And it works as a sacrifice. Gutierrez advances to second. Bruce Bochy, what are you going to do? He's going to take out Dan Maselli and bring in Trevor Hoffman as closer to face Craig Biggio. Bottom nine. Padres caught napping. Gutierrez takes off and steals third uncontested. He was in that 12-player trade back in 94. So the winning run only 90 feet away. They walk Biggio to get to Spires. Two on, facing Hoffman in his potential Cy Young season. Watch Spires now. Reach out. And single to right. Gutierrez scores. Ball game for Houston. Lairitz nearly the hero. Instead, it spires the Astros. Houston wins 5-4, evening up the series. The Dave Johnson going instead with Mike Hampton. There's Brown. And when you're facing Kevin Brown, perhaps you need a little extra help. Largest crowd in the majors this season looking on. Over 65,235 to be exact in attendance. And speaking of looking, that's all Craig Biggio could be doing here as he takes strike three. First batter, the ball game, first K for Brown. Top of two, no score. Brown gets himself in a jam. Brown tags Banks. Leading off the inning. Next pitch, Moises a loop. Base hit. Right back at you. Next pitch. In a jam. Here's how you get out of a jam. Carl Everett. Little ground ball, Kilvio Veras. He's going to tag Olu and he's going to go to first for a double play. John, I smell a replay. Another look at Veras. Makes the tag, makes the throw. Top three, still no score. Bill Spires facing Kevin Brown, and Bill Spires won't be staying. We were scoreless after three. Bottom four, still zeros on the board. In fact, Mike Hampton had a no hitter going through three. Tony Gwynn, fly ball left field. Olu over to make the catch, but watch this. He's robbed by a fan. They rule Tony Gwynn out. Fan interference. Look at the fan reaching over the railing. The fan escorted out of the stadium. Tony Gwynn out. I guess he escorted that. A fly ball to left. Next batter, Greg Vaughn. Ground ball, shortstop, Ricky Gutierrez. Nice play, and he gets his man. Hampton had a no-hitter going, and he was getting help from his defense. Bottom six, the no-no still intact. Chris Gomez trying to break things up. Bingo! Saying no to the no-no. In fact, they will get Hampton on the ropes. After a Kevin Brown sack bunt and a Vera single, there were runners at first and third, and they had a chance with the right guy at the plate, Tony Gwynn. Little base hit drives in a run. In a ball game where one run might make all the difference, and indeed it was. A ground ball. They can't turn two. Gomez scores. One-nothing Padres. You need another look and give the assist to Kilvio Veras, who goes hard into second base, and Gwynn thus able to beat out the throw. Top seven. Runner at first, nobody out. Carl Everett, base hit right field. Alou is headed to third. Tony Gwynn, who hasn't been doing it with the lumber, doing it with the leather. A cannon from Tony Gwynn, and Alou can't believe it. He's pegged at third. You had a lot of replays. How about another one here? Proves to be a good call. Gwynn got rid of the ball quickly, and they nail Alou headed into third. After a hit batsman and a walk, bases loaded. Kevin Brown facing Biggio. 
Still hanging on to a 1-0 lead. Brown, remember, pitching on short rest. It appeared he had nothing left in the tank. Ball four. Brown leaves after six and two-thirds. Terrific innings. Ball game tied at one. He did not have a chance to win. Bottom seven tied at one still. Jim Lairitz. They call him Mr. Clutch. Mr. October is Jim Lairitz. He's the second best story of this postseason after Shane Spencer. 2-1 as Lairitz does it again. Padres take the lead. Could we have another replay, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. Jimmy Lairitz, as he did for the Yankees and as he's done already this postseason, coming through when they need him. Top of nine now. Two outs, two on Padres. Trevor Hoffman facing Pete Incavilia. This was the pinch hitter they had. Hoffman strikes out the side of the ninth, and the Padres win 2-1 to one and take an identical 2-1 series lead. Kevin Brown now in the division series, 14 and two-thirds innings, five hits, one earned run, and division series record 21 strikeouts. No surprise here, Larry Durker. And Johnson facing Kilvio Veras. Check, please. Three batters later, it's Johnson against Ken Caminiti in the whiff to end the inning. Game three hero, Jim Lairitz, would lead off the bottom of the second and brought his own cheering section. Lairitz has done it again. Takes Johnson deep, third homer of this series. Padres lead it one to nothing. Lairitz pumped up. So are the Padre fans, so are his teammates. Meanwhile, Padre pitcher Sterling Hitchcock in a groove. Ricky Gutierrez in the dirt. Next batter, Brad Osmus in the dirt. Check swing, got him. Next batter, Randy Johnson. Hitchcock, who like Johnson, is a former Mariner who came over to the National League via a trade. Seven strikeouts after three. Top six, two outs. Derek Bell at the plate. Craig Biggio, the go-ahead run at second, and Hitchcock freezes him to end the inning. Hitchcock pumped after the strikeout. Johnson against Vaughn. Bottom to six, two outs. Moise Alou, late jump. But your shortstop has got to take charge. Vaughn at second after the excuse me double. Next batter, it's Ken Caminiti. There's two outs. And this should get the Astros out of the inning. Sean Barry, the routine, not so routine. Bagwell can't dig it out. Into the stands. Vaughn scores error by Barry. Padres up 2-1. Nobody out, top of the seventh. Two men aboard. Billy Spires to first. Wally Joyner's coming home. Bagwell caught in a rundown. He's eventually tagged out by Joyner. Runners advance to second and third on the play. After a walk to Gutierrez to load the bases, Dan Maselli comes in to relieve Joey Hamilton, and Maselli faces Brad Ausmus and gets him. Carl Everett, pinch hitting, pops up to Caminiti at third, and the Padres get out of the inning, still up a run. Bottom eight, one out. Runners at the corner, and John Vanderwald doing what John Vanderwald does best, pinch hitting. Two-run triple, 4-1 Padres. Next batter, Wally Joyner at the plate. Charlie Steiner on ESPN Radio with a call. Joiner with a high fly ball to deep right field. Back at the wall. Dog! Nobody paid some postseason picture quite like Charlie. Join his first home run of the playoffs. Top nine, two outs, Trevor Hoffman. Getting Spires to ground out. Final out of the game. Padres win it 6-1. to one. The celebration begins. The Killer Bees killed. 6-1 the final. Leyritz becomes the 18th player in postseason history to homer in three consecutive games. Hitchcock came up big in his first playoff start, allowing three hits, striking out 11 over six. The Padres are heading to their first NLCS since 1984, game one set for Wednesday night in Atlanta. Afterwards, Jim Leyritz admitted he takes the season month by month.